Hi, I'm Chris Calcutt from Focusrite Novation, and I'm here today at DV247 to talk to you a little bit about the Novation Impulse 49 controller keyboard. The Impulse 49 is a 49 note controller uh, with four octaves of uh, keyboard control, but in addition to that, we also have a number of excellent controller features uh, built into the actual keyboard. On this side, we have um, a nine uh, fader setup so that we can actually control our mix within our door software. We have eight rotary encoders. We have eight drum pads, uh, velocity sensitive. We also have our transport controls. The Impulse 49 is designed to work with uh, Novation's AutoMap software to help you control your door software, whichever door you're actually using. Um, let's have a look at some of the uh, key features on the Impulse. So as I mentioned, the Impulse 49 has 49 full-size keys. These are a semi-weighted key action and have a great feel to them. In addition, uh, the keys have a very high scan rate, uh, which gives the, um, uh, the player a, a great dynamic feel when playing. And the uh, keys can actually measure the velocity um, very, very precisely. Um, so in addition to the key bed, um, we also have a number of different controls available to us, which let us control our door software. Over on the left-hand side, we have uh, nine faders, which are 55 mil in length, so it's quite a nice long travel on each of the faders. Um, and underneath the faders as well, we have a series of buttons, which let us act as solo switches or as mute switches. If I turn it to mute mode, we can mute the actual tracks. Uh, further to the right, we have a nice big LCD screen, which gives us a lot of information feeding back to us. Uh, it's very straightforward and easy to read. Underneath that, we have a whole load of uh, control and settings buttons that let us edit the actual keyboard um, itself. Um, moving further along, we have eight rotary encoders, which are a nice smooth travel, very, very precise in their feel. Underneath the encoders, we also have our transport controls with fast forward, rewind, stop, play, record, and also a loop toggle switch. And then further to the right of the unit, we also have our drum pads. Now the drum pads are quite an interesting um, uh, section because they are what we call tri-led. That means they have three colors of LEDs behind them to give us visual feedback, but they also have several different modes of, of use. Um, in their standard use, we can treat them just as um, a simple drum pad. They're velocity sensitive as well, so we can actually get a nice bit of velocity um, signal with that as well. In their default state, the pads act as eight uh, large trigger pads for, for drum sounds or for any type of sound really. Um, they're velocity sensitive and are nice and easy to play, but you can really you know, work with the velocity on these. We also have a roll mode, which basically will repeat the signal of the pad, so we can actually use these to actually create a nice repeated beat. In addition to roll mode, we also have an arpeggio mode as well. When we switch to arpeggio mode, the keyboard automatically goes into an arpeggio state and the pads actually represent eight separate notes in the arpeggio. This allows us to actually start to mute notes and actually play around with the rhythm. In addition to the arpeggio mode, we also have a clip launch mode, which is specific to Ableton Live software. In addition to the clip launch mode, which we'll look at in a second, we can also use the transport controls on the impulse to navigate our way around the software. Um, for example, the fast forward button will actually let us move up and down in our scenes. The loop button will actually trigger off a whole, season, a whole scene for us. So in so by using the, uh, the drum pads in clip launch mode and using the fast forward arrows and rewind arrows, we can navigate our way to a specific clip and launch that individual clip. For example, here, I'm gonna just trigger off this clip on track seven. Okay, so now we'll have a look at the impulse uh, keyboard actually controlling uh, Logic as the main door software. Um, the Impulse does this through the AutoMap software uh, that is a free piece of software available from NovationMusic.com um, and is a fantastic piece of software for really controlling any of your DAW um, workstations. Um, initially, we've loaded up Logic here 
and I've got the ES1 synth just up on the screen. Um, as with Ableton before, basically I can just grab hold of one of the encoders and if you look here in the top sort of right of the, um, of the ES1 synth, we can see I'm instantly taking control over the waveform. Now I know I'm taking control over the waveform because up in the uh, top right of the computer screen, I'm getting a little um, uh, notification there to tell me what I'm actually controlling. If I want a bit more depth to the uh, controller information there, I can open the mapping editor here and now I get um, a mirror, if you like, of the, uh, of the eight encoders that we have available and it tells me what we're actually mapped or directly to. If I need to access any of the other pages or any of the other parameters within that synth, I can quickly page up and actually now take control over some of the other different parameters available. Um, if I want to load in, for example, another synth and take control of that, it's very straightforward. We'll close down that synth for now, hit the uh, Add Software Instrument track, and now we'll bring in a, an EVP88. If I double click and open this, we can see that we have the EVP88 straight away. And once again now, I can actually start to take control over the parameters without having to do any sort of setting up. If you notice here, again, our, um, our mapping editor is showing us new information as to what we're actually controlling. In addition, we also have full fader control again, solo and mute states, so we can actually mute a track or solo it. Um, and basically, we have full control over our door software. Automap works with all of the major DAWs available um, and is very straightforward and easy to set up. Once we've loaded Automap, if we go to our software setup page, the computer automatically tells us which programs we have uh, installed and then we have a setup button which takes us directly through how to set up your software. Um, it's very straightforward and very easy to, to do. Once we're set up, Automap basically takes control of your DAW for you, letting you get on with your music creation and not have to worry about assigning controls to various different parameters.